Hi, Nurse Sherry here, and today we're going to be going over post-mortem care. So as a CNA or a nurse, we will come in contact with patients that will uh, pass away, and we need to do post-mortem care for them. So one thing you'll need to know is if the patient is a donator or not, so are their eyes going to be donated? If so, those do need to be prepped with, usually we'll just close them and apply ice packs on top of both eyes, but for today's scenario, we're going to just pretend that he does not have an order to donate his eyes, so we'll just be performing post-mortem care. So, this, what you will need for this is PPE, because we don't want to expose any of germs that may be released from the patient to other people or to yourself. So we wanna make sure that we are covered with our PPE. I have a towel, um, a towel for my barrier as well, uh, an outfit that the family had picked out, my um, body bag, my three name tags. So we have to put one on the right foot, the right toe, the right wrist, and then one on the sheet before we place them in the bag. And then um, just in case I need to apply a dressing anywhere, and then I just grabbed a bunch of washcloths. I think I grabbed six. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and apply my PPE. So when I apply PPE, I want to open up the gown away from me, not to shake it or get any particles that are on it out into the air. I'm going to go ahead and put my sleeves in. Obviously, I washed my hands before I came into the patient's room. I didn't state that though. Then I'm gonna tie the top tie. And this is how you'll apply PPE for any anytime you're applying it. And then I'm gonna take the back and I wanna make sure that I cross over as much as possible. And I'm gonna tie this in the back. And that way I should be covered. All right, all right. Then I'm gonna apply my gloves, making sure that my glove is on the inside of the gown. So as you can see, you can see that my gown comes all the way to here. That makes sure that I have a good barrier there in between my skin and the patient. All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and get my water and I'll need my soap, just because I wanna make sure that I get my patient all clean in any areas. So I'm gonna first look for any, any tubes that need to be removed, okay? So he has an IV here, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. These can only be removed if it's not a coroner's case, meaning they're not gonna have an autopsy. So otherwise, the nurse will let you know and there will be also an order in the sheet. So I'm gonna take this and I would dispose of this in the Sharps container if it was an IV. Then I'm just gonna look and see if he has any other, and he has a Foley catheter, so I'm gonna have to remove that. So in order to remove a catheter, you'll have um, this tube right here and it'll tell you how many inches it is and how many milliliters of saline is already in the bubble so you just need to place that in there and then drain that water will just drain right back out and once you got whatever it says mine says five mils so once you got five mils you can go ahead and pull it out you're gonna empty the contents of the Foley into the toilet, and then you'll discard of the Foley bag into the trash. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and roll my patient and clean the backside and go ahead and place a pad and probably it depends because it just makes it easier. So I will go ahead and untie him. I would have him covered as much as possible during this, but I just wanted you to kind of see what I'm doing. So we would gently roll him to his side. And it's hard with the mannequin here. I'm gonna go ahead and place a pad underneath of him. And I'm gonna go ahead and get a Depends, just because after someone passes away, um, all the fluid in their body will come back out. So I just wanna make sure that if it's still coming out after the fact, that I'll have all this ready. So I'm gonna take my first washcloth and I'm just gonna apply some soap. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna do just like I would do peri care, okay? So I make sure I get soap everywhere. I'm gonna clean up, up, and up. 
put this over here for my dirty and then get another one for a rinse. Cleaning him up anywhere that needs to be cleaned up. So I'm gonna go ahead and have him roll on back. And I have the pad and the depends placed in a good spot. So then I'm gonna go ahead and just see if the front area needs cleaned. So I'm gonna take my washcloth, put some soap on it. And just make sure I get this front area nice and clean. So one swipe down, one swipe down, and another down the center. And then I'm gonna take my rinse and do the same to rinse. This side, down the middle. Then I'll take my another towel Go ahead and pat dry. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and roll him a little my way to get the rest of the pad out and the depends. I'm going to place the depends on. back down take the covers and keep them over them as long as the sheet is clean you can continue to use that one I'm gonna go ahead and change his gown so I'm gonna take it off and he had a shirt in there and just in case the family want to see him one more time before I take him down to the morgue um, we will go ahead and have um, place those clothes on him that the family picked out over here get this side of the gown and I'm going to take this and roll it away from me and place it in the dirty linen I'm going to grab his new shirt If he had any jewelry on, I would remove that at this time. Um, if he had dentures, I would make sure that he had those in because as the body stiffens, we want to make sure that it stiffens with his uh, dentures in. And then I'll have him lean up or I would have to go to the other side to get this fully on my patient. always a struggle with mannequins. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and button this. Go ahead and place the sheet over him here I'm gonna grab my last washcloth and roll this up and this is to be placed underneath his chin to make sure that the mouth stays closed but this is a mannequin and I can't get him to keep his mouth closed so we would place that towel underneath of his chin all rolled up like that all right then I'm going to take the first tag and go to his right toe. If he doesn't have a right toe, you'll put it on his left toe. Um, 
Go ahead and tie this first one around his right toe. And obviously I would verify the name and all the information that's on the toe tag. And then I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna put it on his right wrist. So again, this is just what the toe tag looks like. It has all their personal information on it. I'm going to take my body bag. I'll go ahead and roll him over to the side to get him in a good position. And I would take the, I would just take that with me. Here's my body bag. So I'm going to unfold it. place this underneath of him as if I was putting a sheet underneath of his bed to put on, you know, to make an occupied bed. So, and you might need some help as well when you do it. So if you do, just don't, you know, just ask for another CNA or the nurse to help you out. I'm just gonna put it all under here like that. And then I'm gonna have it roll him on back. straighten body bag out and the sheet will stay on him inside here and I will take my last toe tag and place it on the sheet and I just have a piece of tape I just I'm using just a tegaderm This just goes anywhere on the sheet on the outside or on the inside of the bag. Make sure that all the parts of your patient are in the bag. Just roll up. Might need a towel too. It just depends on your patient. That would probably fit better on him. Be a towel. Okay. Then I will. Go ahead and zip him up. And he is ready to be transported to the morgue. So then after that, I would go ahead and remove my gloves. Remove my gown. You just don't want to expose or touch anything that's already been touched. So I'm just going to take that all the way down. Take this one and then I roll. So only that's touching me is what touched the outside of me. Put this in. I'm gonna wash my hands. I'd come back and apply some gloves. I would take my water basin back, empty it, rinse it, and throw that away. And then I would put my soap back, take my dirty linen, and make sure that I dispose of it in the dirty linen. Wash my hands, and I would be complete with that skill. And I would just need another person to take the patient to the morgue with me. Thanks for watching.